Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can go ahead and clone your own voice using 11 Labs. So, um, there's two things you're going to need first. One, you're going to need to record some audio. Uh, I'd suggest about three to five minutes. Anything above that, not going to really show all that much improvement, but about three to five minutes of audio. And you're also going to need the 11 Labs starter plan. It's about three bucks a month and you have access to the voice cloning. So once we have all that said and done, so you're gonna go ahead here and go into your 11 labs and you wanna go into the voices section. So you can do that from the sidebar on the left side here and go ahead and click voices and you'll be put into the voice lab where we can add a generative or cloned voice. You wanna click that and you can choose the type of voice to create. We can do voice design, instant voice cloning, voice library or professional voice cloning. The, uh, the difference between the uh, instant and professional cloning is that the professional one is the most accurate sounding however it does require uh, more involvement uh, I think 11 labs does kind of verify it is your voice and not anybody else's voice so there's somebody who works at 11 labs who has to verify and sign off on that voice cloning before you can actually use it um, and it does also cost more you need the um, I think it's like the uh, creator plan yeah it's the creator plan 22 bucks a month you will need that one in order to do it. It's the most it's the most accurate sounding, but it's also the most involved. So we're going to be covering the instant voice cloning in this video. However, in another video, I will probably cover the professional one. So we're going to go ahead here and choose instant. And you're going to need to upload a file or drag and drop. So um, I have a sample from one of my YouTube videos I want to put in here. And you can set a name, so I'm just putting my name. And then we have the sample here. You can upload more than one sample if you want. You can upload up to 25. They need to be about 10 megabytes each. Uh, if it's a little bit more than that, if your sample's a little bit more than that, you can try uh, using like a online MP3 compressor or something like that. Or uh, you can record audio within the 11 Labs website. That also works too. You can add labels if you want. And then you can set a description. In this case, I'm going to say an American... Teenage YouTuber. And then you also need to go ahead and confirm that you have all the rights and consents to use the voice. And since it is my voice, yes, I do. And then you're going to click Add Voice. So we're going to click that. It's going to take a minute to go through. And then we'll have it. It's uploaded right there. And then you can click Use. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And it'll bring us to our speech synthesis page here. Uh, I'm going to show you real quick that our voice is the selected one. You can go into this list that you would go to where you can see all of your voices and your new clone voice will be in that list. So we have that all set and good. We're going to go ahead and generate this little piece of text here that says, Hey guys, this is 11 Labs voice cloning. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm gonna click, and you're going to go ahead and click generate speech. Give that a second. Hey guys, this is 11 Labs voice cloning. Uh, that sounded okay. Um, not perfect, but um, there's a couple things to keep in mind with this. One, your voice clones aren't always going to sound perfect. Um, the professional voice cloning is definitely the more accurate one, but this is the instant one, so in terms of how good it's going to sound, it can be a little bit hit or miss. Um, some of it also kind of depends on where your settings are in 11 Labs, like what you have your stability and similarity set to, and um, other settings such as that, what and even what 11 Labs model you're using, because sometimes that can affect it. Um, it. It all kind of just depends. Also, some generations are going to sound different from others. So it is something that you are going to have to toy around with, um, toy around with how you sound in different samples, uh, how long your samples are, all that stuff. It's something you will have to toy around with. but. Um, yeah, that's just how you do it. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, if there's anything you guys would like me to cover anytime soon, go ahead and leave a comment on it, and I'll give it a look. And, uh, yeah, take care.